All right. I am sorry for that. Um, I put her out on the porch. <laughs> so, where was I? I was showing you my scarf. I, like I said, I, I made it, I created the scarf using the same yarn as I did. Oh, wow. Sorry. As I did the, the uh, head wrap. But it's kind of, you know, it, it, it makes a nice little set. And it's cute. The blue in it is really pretty how it's the ombre. And let me see. Oh, I do have another slouchy hat I, I missed. I also have a, a messy bun beanie or a ponytail hat, whatever you want to call it. Um, this yarn here is really, really super, super soft. Um, I think it is, uh, I think it is by Red Heart. I think it's called Bubblegum. Um, again, don't, don't mark my words for that because I don't really remember. But this is a, this yarn made a really nice slouchy hat. I mean, it has a really good drape to it. But it is kind of like a, I would say a peridot green. Has a little bit of yellow, orange, and like a, a turquoise blue. And there's no fancy stitch with this. I just did a... A single crochet all the way around and I always start on my brim first I do the brim and make sure that it fits if your brim brim fits how you do it is <clears throat> excuse me uh, I measure it from you know that my forehead and then I go down to like the the base of my neck or the base of my head Anyway, that's like kind of, well, as you can tell, how it's on the the styrofoam here, but that's how I uh, I measure it out. That way, it's a, it's a good fit. You know, you tuck your ears back or tuck your ears back. No, you <laughs> cover your ears and and tuck your hair back, and it's all good. And then I did. Well, let me show you. I told you about the ponytail or messy bun beanie or whatever you want to call it. Um, oh, I think this might be a Red Heart yarn. Um, a Super Saver. Not sure about the colorway. <laughs> I apologize. I th This video was not planned, guys. Honestly. Okay. As you can tell, it's it's really pretty yarn. If you uh, just go on redheart.com and just search, I'm pretty sure you can find it. Um, but I did this one kind of in in a flower um, cable stitch. I'm not sure what it was called, but I did. There's a hole back here, so if you want to, you know put your hair up and stick it through, you know, or, you know, a ponytail or whatever you want to do. Um, I have also made them like this and run a drawstring through and tied, cinched, cinched up the hole. And you can have the tie either dangling down to where it's kind of like a bow, or you can actually flip it wrong side out you can flip it wrong side oh and look at the other side see this one as well could be a reversible hat you know like two and actually this one would be more than two and one okay um you can wear it as a ponytail hat or you can cinch it up to make you know just a a, a semi slouchy hat um, you can have it with a bow, you can have it to where you tie it up from the inside, cinch it up to where the, it's not showing, the tie's not showing, or you can wear it with your hair, with your hair hanging out. 
um, which I really love these. I really, really love these. There's one that I have. It's just, um, I did it out of a Karen Simply Soft, and it's a brown color, but, um, no, it is just brown. <laughs> it's boring, but, um, I really love it, and I, I, I wear it the majority of the time during the winter time, but these colors are really pretty. That's, I just like it. All right, I think that, oh, wait, no, it's right here in front of me. Um, this one here, I think it is also a yarn bee from um, Hobby Lobby. Again, I do not know the colorway, but it's really pretty. But I do know. And it, as well as an, is an ear warmer. It's, this is a thicker, like a bulky yarn, but it's really soft. But I have, you can either like put a pin here or something. You don't have to have that part in the front, actually. You can, if you have your hair just through, through it, um, you can actually put this, put this part here back to the back. That way, um, the bulky, this part here will be in the front. And then your hair will, it'll be more comfortable like this. That way it won't put so much of a, I don't know, you don't have so much here. If that makes any sense, I don't know. It's, it to me, it's more comfortable with this at the back. Because there's just too much, it's too white here to... And this is this being a a, a super bulky yarn. Um, it's not as um, flexible. I don't want to say flexible. It don't have near the drape. See, as you can tell, it's it's kind of stiffer, but it's it is really super soft. And the colors in it is it kind of reminds me maybe a maybe Easter eggs, you know, dyeing Easter eggs and you have all the, the different colors of dye on the table and, you know, <laughs> this is what ends up on your hands after you get done. But <laughs> anyway, speaking of dyeing, I, uh, I was able to, I've been making face scrubbies or, you know, scrubbies for the kitchen, you know, for your face and, and, um, the scrubby yarn that I have, that I was using, <clears throat> excuse me, um, to me really belongs in the kitchen. You know, um, I have made it, you know, scrubbies for your face and body out of it and it worked great. People love them, but I was able to find a different type of scrubby yarn and it's by Mary Maxim. Can you see it? anyway and it's actually scrubby but it is 100% um, cotton I have not used it yet but um, I picked it up I got actually I got it in two different colors I got all the white that they had honestly they only had four but um, this was part of my uh, my birthday haul um, anyway my birthday money. I was going to get me an Amazon card, but then I was like, you know what? Let's uh, spend it at home. So I was able to pick up four of the Mary Maxim scrubby yarn and in the white, and then I was able to pick up five of the same just in a, it's called Plum. It's, uh, it's showing up more purple on screen than it actually is in real life. In real life, it's kind of a, I don't know, I'd call it a, a red wine color, honestly. But where uh, I got it, I picked up in Dolphin, actually. And I got it at, uh, shout out, I love these girls, at Current River Fabric and Quilting in Dolphin. They are the nicest. Uh, I, I just love going in there. Um, it's just a local shop and I, I like to support our local because uh, they got it, <laughs> you know, but uh, they, they, they're hardworking people and, and they deserve it. 
you know, they deserve our business. So instead of shopping online with through Amazon, I just kept my money at home where it belonged. Anyhow, and uh, here is my idea. I don't know if uh, y'all know or not, but I also sell Mary Kay. And um, right now, my one of my favorite things with the Mary Kay is the uh, um, clear proof charcoal mask, which is a non-abrasive mask. You don't peel it off. You just wash it off with uh, um, warm water. Anyway, that's another video. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, being a charcoal, um, and you wash it off, a charcoal has a tendency of dinging up your your wash rags and, and stuff like that. So, I wanted some of the scrubby yarn, <clears throat> but um, obviously, well, the this color here it wouldn't hurt you know I mean it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt this because it being a darker color but the white I I've been wanting to since it's a hundred percent cotton um, I don't know if it will work or not but I'm gonna try to I wanted to make them um, mm, I wanted to play with dyeing some yarn so so this here is what I chose to play with and I'm gonna make this up with in having the charcoal mask in mind okay so um I actually picked up today at Hobby Lobby I picked up some uh, fabric dye in the black the powder but then I also picked up a liquid um, fabric dye in a pink so here is my idea this one here does not say that it, it will um, dye cotton but you know I, I bet it will <laughs> I, I bet it will work I'm I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed and hope for the best anyway I was thinking about doing two skeins or maybe I'll just do one since we're I don't know I don't know what to do okay I got four so I'm gonna do two I'm gonna do two of them with the pink and just let it sit in the dye pot in the pink for a while and let it get all soaked up and and uh, pinkish and while it's still in the dye pot and I don't know I don't know what to do I'm thinking about sprinkling the black over this while it's still in the pink and kind of make it pink with black specks maybe I don't know I'm gonna play around with the idea and then um, the other two I just may just do the black um, my thought was that perhaps the majority of the color would possibly um, come out I don't know I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm gonna end up with maybe a grayish color is is uh, what I'm thinking which would be perfect for the um, charcoal mask anyway moving right along what else do we have oh yes um, keeping in mind that the face scrubbies and the wash rags I also picked up today from um, Hobby Lobby I was able to get two each of these and they're the artiste number eight crochet cotton which is a thinner and I got two of them in the pink which you can't really it's it's showing up really light on the camera but it's actually more it's more of a baby pink a brighter baby pink but anyway like I said it is a number eight and I don't really want you know if I'm making face cloths I don't want it um, I don't want them worked up with the regular cotton yarn um, like the sugars and cream or peaches and cream um, just because I feel like they're too bulky I don't I'm just weird that I'm, I'm strange when it comes to things like that but I thought it would be nice to make them out of a thinner cotton versus the thicker but I got two in the pink and Mary Kay pink of course and I got two in the black which I do a lot of amigurumi as well um, which is 
the little bitty, you know, the little crocheted animals. And I think this would be perfect for that. Um, and then I also got um, the same, the same kind, but just in the white. And it's a really bright white. It's really pretty. Um, and it, the white will probably be used in my amigurumi. And I don't know, but uh, probably so. It's it, this is the perfect size and for for that, the number eight because I like I like smaller animals. I don't know. One well, of these days I'll show you um, my amigurumi toy box. Actually, it's a basket. Um, of all of that that, that I have for the babies to play with when they come. Um, I also, yay, I am so happy for this. Um, I got me a yarn winder. Picked it up to, oh wow, okay. Um, I got a yarn winder, it's by Yarnology. Um, and I have wanted one of these for a while and all it does, it seems like a silly thing, but it's not. Um, once you used up so much of your skein of yarns, let me see. It don't. Okay, like in a normal, regular uh, skein of yarn, your yarn tail, you'll have a yarn tail coming out of the center in here. Okay, which that is not it. So this is the loop. But you'll have just one single strand coming out, and then you can just pull it and you work you know, as it's coming out of the center. Otherwise, you have to pull off of the, the edge or the outside, which um, causes your yarn to go everywhere and, and, you know, possibly fall on the floor or whatever. But I got the yarn winder because once I get to the point where, you know, it's starting to knot up coming out of the regular skein or, or if you can't find the tail to pull from the middle, you can just hook it up to this little gizmo here and create your own yarn balls but then having it I said I didn't have another skein of yarn um, see how this comes out really easy all right and but if if that did not happen if I couldn't pull it from there I would have to get it from the outs the outside of it and then it just goes everywhere but anyhow this here will, um, the ones that do not have the center pull like this, I can wind them up and have all of my yarn center pulled, which is, uh, it allows the process of whatever project you're working on to go so much smoother and quicker. And I have wanted one for a really long time, but thought why would I spend that extra money on something when I can just do it around my hand you know but you know you only turn a half a century once right <laughs> I might as well pamper myself a little bit all right a couple weeks ago <clears throat> excuse me or possibly not even that long about a week or so ago I had um, received a text message and um, from somebody I wasn't really sure who it is but or was but I do now actually and um, they brought it to my attention they had asked me if I could make some ear protectors um, because you know they're in the medical field and they're the elastic in the face mask is really starting to uh, wear on their their skin of their ears so even though I wasn't sure who it was, I, I decided to go ahead and do it. And um, I have made, you know, several, not, not a whole lot, but I mean, I've made a few. Um, and the only holdup was, is I lost my buttons. I couldn't find buttons. But um, I have buttons now. <laughs> yes. So. Anyway, what I'm going to do with these, um, they had asked me how much, and, you know, I looked at it this way. Um, the people working, you know, out there, and they're having to be out there, and 
wearing the mask and, and doing what they can to help us, you know, I'm not, I'm just going to fix these up and I'm going to make like little uh, gift bags up just to say thank you and um, have taken up to the hospital and just set up at the nurses stations and that way you know they can whoever wants one they can grab one and there you go but I made um you know I made some in in like the darker colors the brown for you know the the male nurses um, and then I made you know in a green and they're all 100% cotton and um, I will be placing the buttons on them and getting them sent where they need to be but um, I, I just hope um, that they find these useful and um, I don't know, know that they they are appreciated I'm going to like I said I, I want to fix up a little um, a thank you pack for them so I'm going to put one ear sits one ear saver in each pack and then I was um, like I said I I sell the Mary Kay so I was thinking about I don't know putting a, a couple little free samples in there maybe um, I've heard about the extra um nighttime ammonia um, it's hard to say ammoniate night cream anyway I've heard that that is it will help um, Mm. help with where their face is being chapped and stuff from the steam inside the mask it I it it uh, puts up a moisture barrier there we go that's the word so I'm, I want to try to get some samples of that and possibly some hand cream since you know um, washing your hands so often it will make your hands chapped and and so much of the alcohol um, Purell and all that will you know cause you to dry out so I'm thinking you know the 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 night cream and the hand lotion and then I also have um, some I placed an order for some eye patches which um, are really amazing the other day I opened my eye patches I took a video of it but my lighting in here was so so horrible that I chose not to upload it just because it looked so bad but anyway it was actually Wednesday my birthday and um, she didn't miss anything I was just like all over the place I was you know emotional and and just uh, just wackadoo I don't know it was a crazy day but anyhow the the eye patches I, I have not used the eye patches yet but um, I was really really bad puffy Wednesday because of my allergies and um, I had just taken the lid off of the eye patches and and I just used a little bit of the gel that was left over on the lid and I just kind of patted it in and then you know we went out to dinner and we did my birthday thing and came back and and then I started looking and I was amazed I mean I am still amazed by them eye patches but anyway the point being the nurses you know in at the hospital I I just want to show them a little a little bit of appreciation and um, you know just just make them maybe have a a good day you know if you know just I don't know I just uh, want to say thank you and and I don't know how any other way to do it so anyway that's what I'm working on um, another hat a semi slouchy hat um, ear savers and get them to the hospital and get them donated and, and passed out to whomever may uh, wish to have one I'm gonna be making more this is just a start I just uh, like I said I I had buttons and then I lost my buttons <laughs> and maybe kind of like losing your marbles I don't know possibly but you know hey I lost them suckers a long time ago <laughs> anyway um, I believe that oh wait wait one more thing one more thing guys I'm sorry 
another little idea that I was um, kind of venturing off to. I, I have this, which is also a cotton, and it's a thinner. I have no clue where I got it, because now I keep looking for this size cotton, and I cannot find it anywhere. I, I really do not know I may have ordered it offline or I may not have um, I know um, a couple of months ago I had to place an online order because I had um, some requests and Walmart did not have any any yarn at all and or it was roped off to where we couldn't get it but uh, th that may be where this came from I, I had actually purchased a, a surprise bag so that may be, this may be part of it. This is a hot pink, even though it's, well, it's kind of showing hot pink on here, but it, my colors and the, I don't, my color, my lighting is, like I keep saying, is bad. It's, it just is. Nothing I can do about it right now. I just need to get out of this corner and um, in my space that I'm working on. Anyway, I am thinking about making these little flowers um, for face scrubbies. You know, um, like I said, it is 100% cotton. Um, it is not scratchy. It is, you know, it feels like cotton. Um, <laughs> not really, a, it's, it's not hard or rough. It's not the softest, but it is, it's, I think it would be just fine for a face cloth anyhow but that's that's just that's using it you know the thin the thin cotton like I was saying earlier um, I prefer that for like uh, your face cloths and and the heavier yarn like what I was using for the the ear savers let me see if you can actually yes because I you will be able to tell because I don't have these ends tied in yet so here is the regular number four cotton versus, and I'm, I'm pretty sure, let me see, yes, ah, my phone, let's just uh, call them back in a minute, okay, well, because I'm almost done here, all right, this here is the actual number four cotton. This is what you would use, the, what I would use for um, the kitchen towels and stuff. And then here is the, I, I'm thinking that this would probably be the same weight as the stuff here, which is, like I said before, the number eight crochet cotton, which is more along the line of a thread versus a yarn. But, um... Yeah, you can you can tell so this is just a regular standard kitchen cotton is what they would say but I'm liking it I'm really liking this pattern um, I like the texture the 3d and I think that would make a really really cute um, or nice face scrubby that or a big old flower in your hair <laughs> no <laughs> all right okay guys um i think that is it that i have to show today um if you like what or if you like anything that i've shown i know this is pro this video is in two parts because my dog was griping and but she's out now <laughs> um anyway if you liked what you've seen you know, give me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate you um, liking my channel, uh, subscribing, hit that little bell notification. That way you don't miss out on any more uh, jibber jabber and random videos coming from me. And uh, anyhow, just say hi. Drop by. Why not? It's not going to hurt. You know, click that like button. It's free. <laughs> and uh, I would appreciate your support. Anyhow, I hope you all have a great weekend. And um, 
thanks for everything. All right. Peace out. Bye-bye.